Hey guys, welcome back to Warhammer Tacticus. So today we play the last day, and it's the last day of legendary event, Praise the Machine God. I was unable to record yesterday and I have one video to upload from yesterday, uh, from, sorry, from two days ago. So it is the final video, which I'm going to add from the event, first event with the Vit reviews, if I'm correct. So I played some battles, filling up the requirements of the easiest battle, but don't worry, I will still use the same squad here so I can show you what setup I'm using and on what level I have actually my characters so <clears throat> we have uh, 11 tickets maybe 12 so having 12 tickets uh, I think we have to go straight to the gamma sector because we didn't pull out a lot of scores he score here yet so we're going straight to the um, to the gamma sector I didn't want to play play this uh, without you so let's try doing that okay this is impossible <clears throat> so let me just check if flying units yes this is good setup so we can make basically shuttle uh, I'm wondering if this is gonna work I'm happy that this time when I was playing this event I um, I didn't lose any ticket, except for this uh, small accident. Um, small accident which we had uh, with uh, the Alpha sector, button number seven. If you if you remember, uh, okay, let's kill this one. Let's overkill this guy. Tatmos. Okay, we can go here. I'm afraid the other girl might be too weak here. Yes, he will be dead. We can take down this guy. We should take down this guy as well. And we should take down this guy. I hope Tatmos will not die. He's not that highly upgraded. So, And he can regen. So. so it will be very good for me to keep him alive as long as it's possible. Mm-hmm. can make okay. Most dead. Come on, it's a little bit too much. Sadly, we didn't. None of them flee. I think they will come more. Um, unlucky. Oh 
Come on. Okay, we can surrender this one. Okay, let's retreat and let's play this once again. I don't want to lose tickets, so I don't... We can try again, but... wondering how can we play this one so we okay. maybe like this I don't know this these are flying units so Maybe we can tank with Tatmos some DPS. Okay, Kalandis can cover the back, exactly. Okay, this is the issue. Okay, this is nice, and we have to get rid of this guy. So if Makatepper will will survive this, we are we, we should be fine. If he will not survive this, we are not fine. Okay, we are fine. The sad thing is that the, the guys with the cannons are not uh, fleeing. This is something which is not satisfying me at all. Um, Mako will region, so this is not a problem. Yeah. Okay, 
glad we, we risk and it, it, it seems that it was worth it. We just need to region. They will come to us. So this is basically a little bit about luck, but this is the sign that we cannot play more <laughs> with such a weak, weak team. Okay, we clear up. Let's see what can we get by deploying most powerful characters. Okay, still good. Hmm. We've got st still two spots, and I think it is this is correct to to use to make two requirements at this stage. Not not worth risking the tickets. We will fill the, fill them up in the incoming the in the next next event. So not a big loss. This one and let's let's go deeper. Rushing the guardsmen is the best thing you can do. If they overwhelm you, it will be very difficult to, to take down all of them. So, uh, this is why I stay on this hexes where they are coming from. To reduce the numbers. Funny thing is that they come from the behind of the map. So. They can actually come from whenever they want to come. Very easy. We've got still the last mission which I want to obtain, but it should not be a problem. We've got 30,000 score. I hope to get 1,000 uh, 15,300 we need 2,300 more score okay and we go in the good part with summoners like Alepno and uh, sorry Archimatos and with the uh, boss Googles is that they summon all the time units. So Archimatus can summon three if he's lucky, and once he can summon six units. Mm, and Shosu can summon one by one, but the, the, the units from Shosu are way more tanky.
So the next wave focus on the incoming units. And the characters which you play are not taking basically damage. Okay, we need right now we need to run away from this bombard bombarding. Uh, not sure whether I can run away with all of my characters. Probably some of us will die. <clears throat> 226 score. It means that if we get, if we pull this amount of score from every fight, we might be able to to get 15,300. Okay, so we want to have the summoners in the front. power of Archimedes revealed and again they, they the old units which just came out that messed up a little look how how powerful DPS output this uh, motor Cadian team Archimates not one shooting
Okay. Five more entrances. Six. And with the one which is going to be in 15 minutes, seven entrances left. Okay. Okay. Of course, Archimatos in the first place, then Shossel. Okay, so it's going to be tough. Slo slowly, but it's going to be tough more and more. Uh, within three hexes, one, two, three Eldrin will be affected. Uh, that's what we want to have. Archimatos will be as well affected. Okay, let's go guys. Mm. Mm -hmm. We have the safe spot. This one can bring up some trouble with my with this team. Wow. Great. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six vo Vox casters. It's a lot. Hope Morgan Ra will not die because he's one of the characters which can take down with one shot the, the mortal teams. Please flee, perfect. They've got Tadius, okay. We can get rid of these guys and right now the mortal guy. Can summon some extra units. Yeah. Cut Scoden, one shot by Morgenwar. Okay, 222 score, that's, that's okay, completely fine. Let's try, um, let's check out the missions. So make overkills and make this one. So we completed a lot of um, missions. This I skipped one daily mission. Uh, I'm, don't, I'm not having enough to open the tier 23 box. Okay, let's let's start opening the box. So we just unlock the Vitruvius, and now we can promote him. We can try promote him. 
might be too too hard, but yes. So we will probably promote him today, and this will be over. Uh, and we have stage number twelve. For the stage number twelve, in the first place, I want to take characters uh, which pro which I can. So I will take the most powerful roster available right now. Mm. Maybe Alep will be better solution for the than boss Gulgards since he can heal Rivas and he can make summons. I will resign from the Shostal since his units cannot one shot anymore the the guardsmen and they have only one hit. But the good part is that I can summon units deep. They should not be able to range the, the, the crabs in the back. It's a very good sign. Please make him flee. No. Okay. So we have to make this. We have four teams of crabs, it's very good. Riva's uh, active ability will clear a lot and provide time for the crabs to multiply. So we can just basically tr keep healing them. Move more than that, sadly. Okay, they they end one one crap team in the back, okay. Kill them now. So good luck with that. You can basically do nothing. Keep healing the mechanical units. One spawn point for the level 12 is strange. Like, um, you can have three spawn points, and this is not impossible for the battle number 6 or 7. And on the battle number 12, if you're a little bit lucky with with summons, there is nothing they can do. Because guardsmen do not have flying in it, so the, the only one way is to make Cardian guardsmen and then he will make one summon, but he will kill him eventually without any problems. Okay. I will take that win. And we actually made one objective with uh, the... Yeah, we didn't deploy Death Guard. So... Right now what we should do, because we will be stronger in the incoming days, we should... Um, Fulfill the um, requirements from the beta sector and gamma sector here with this. And I think we will do this today. So 
it's like one two three fights and then we have two here fights yeah let's go for that so we go for the battle number six we can take Mogonra, Rodbone, Angrax, Typhus and probably we'll take Malados since he is a very powerful unit <clears throat> Let's go for that. This map is basically created for Angrax. To heal Angrax with the rod bone. We can skip this with Typhus. Yeah. And Nurgle Aura should just help. Good luck. So my previous goal from the three days ago was 14,000 score and we will reach this goal. If I didn't skip three or two tokens, which I overslept, uh, 15,300 should be possible. Unfortunately, it won't be possible. Mm, okay, maybe it will be possible since we, I, I have still, I will get two tokens before the event will end. So maybe I will do this. I will let you know if I manage to do that or not. Mm. We go for the button number seven. Yes. And we make this requirement so perfect. Very nice. We put the Death Guard in front as it's possible. Anglex can be the most far away. Yes. The Nurgle Aura is very useful against the Guardsmen. Mm. We go forward. We can heal a little. We can just do this. So we're having two spawn points already makes it more difficult. I should have upgraded Angrax into Diamond too, but still I'm have, I'm a little bit behind with the meta, so it will take probably three more months to upgrade the all characters which I need to have upgraded. this yeah
185 points. Now can be a little bit tougher. Yes. So we have to play this one twice. That's not, not a problem, but it will just consume. Uh, what? Oh. Okay. So I'm, I was missing here one character. Yeah, I cannot take Typhus, but Volk will do will do the job. But let's just push him forward a little. Yeah. Okay. Sadly, we cannot go deeper on the spawn. Yeah, right now Mogenra will take down the Guardsman close to the Angrex and he will go close to the spawn. So this is the objective for now. Volk is probably dead, of course. He is too low. Maladus will constantly kill one of these summons. And as planned, everything goes well. Right now we should have break, or after this wave we should have one turn break, so we can take down the... Yeah. yeah, we will have break now. No? Okay, so maybe after this one. Is dead. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're right now fighting with all of the spawns mostly. And it's over. One hundred seventy score.
Okay, we have battle number eight. But first we'll play this one. Yeah. So we stop on the battle number nine against the guardsmen. Let's go. It should it should work. If there is one more one spawn point, it would be easier. There are two spawn points. I, I see that. Mm -hmm. I, it will take a while to get there. Okay, sadly one kill. <clears throat> this one move, uh, the, the, the range two with movement is crazy. It should be way better. And Movenra has to play close to the to the rod bone. Okay, this might be tough since now. I need to put them all together. Perfect. Twelve enemies to be slain. It's in. It's easy to kill. Yes, rock bomb passive work. If it didn't work, I would be in huge trouble. Seven, two, four. Okay, nobody will come. So we can risk. Perfect. Another 170 score gained. <clears throat> And we have one ticket left. So we can get this 110 score. Let's see. One more star, perfect. So we unlocked character, we promoted it once. Mm. So if I want to reach 15,000, it means I need to pull out 150 score from each stage. 150, let's see if it's possible. 
okay we can make it from the battle number seven from the battle number eight and then from the battle number nine let's see the battle number seven how it goes so we cannot put place any uh, put any summoners mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. The map is the map is fine since uh, we can get rid of the blood blood uh, blood letters. Yeah, they do not deal any high DPS. So, boom. What's the range of this unit? I think they can reach Balator sadly. Okay. Now we can use this one. Okay. Brother Butchard is not that powerful in my roster, but still useful. And we try to get one, one more. Okay, we take down this guy. We take down this guy. These two, Terminator and another Terminator. The key playing against Black Legion faction here is to take down blood letters. They deal huge damage and you want to avoid this. Others can deal like four times less damage. Even Terminators sucks. If I didn't lose this one ticket today, we would be able to have the, the score we wanted to have. So 155 and we closed another sector from the beta sector. We closed battle number 7, we are able to close battle number 8, I'm sure of that. Uh, but we do not have man any score. Uh, so if I manage to make this requirement or maybe this with this uh, I will be able to, to close to possess I don't know I think we will promote him two more times because right now we, you, we are getting way more tickets so anyway guys I hope you enjoyed my walkthrough uh, thanks for watching let me know what score did you manage to make from the all legendary event you have like now like you, you have right now about free up to four manups to upgrade your units and uh, to increase your score in the future i think that re the, the the score you can make better you can make like 2000 progress from event number one to event number two so if you have 10,000 score you probably will have 12 and then 14,000 if you have 6,000 then you will have 8,000, then 8, 10,000, something like this. You can, you can, during these eight, seven months, you can, up, you can make progress by 20% from each sector. You should be able to do this if you are a constant player. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful New Year's Eve celebration. Leave subscribe, leave comments, whatever you feel comfortable with. And actually, that's it guys so see you next in the 2024 bye